In today's video, we're going to take a look at life cycle assessments, which analyze the different stages in a product's life cycle in order to assess its impact on the environment. After seeing exactly what a life cycle assessment is, we'll take a look at an example by comparing plastic bags to paper bags. And at the end, we'll consider some of the problems associated with life cycle assessments. There are four main stages to a life cycle assessment. Extracting and processing the raw materials, manufacturing and packaging your product, using your product, and finally disposing of it. And the important thing about each of these stages is not to memorize lots of facts or examples, but to generally understand them so that you can apply that logic to compare different products. When we extract resources from nature, we often directly damage the local environment. For example, because we're cutting down forests for their wood, or digging huge mines to extract ores. Meanwhile, processing these materials can often indirectly damage the environment, both because of the huge amounts of energy that are often required, like when extracting metals from their ores, or during fractional distillation of crude oil, and because lots of pollutants can be released, like when cleaning extracted ores. Next, let's look at manufacturing and packaging. The three main problems are energy use, the release of pollution, like carbon monoxide or hydrogen chloride, and the production of waste products. Sometimes we can use these waste products as raw materials for something else, but usually they're useless and they have to be disposed of. When considering the impact of using a product, we need to look at two things. How much damage it does during its lifetime, for example how polluting driving a car is, or how much damage fertilizers do when we consider runoff into the environment, and also how long the product is used for. If you buy a nice bag that you use thousands of times, that's very different from a single-use paper bag. Finally, we have to consider how we dispose of the product. If we place it in a landfill, then we've taken up space that could have been used for nature, and chemicals might seep out into the surrounding ecosystems. If we burn the waste products, though, then they might release pollutants into the atmosphere. And either way, we have to consider the energy used to transport these items to landfill or to the incinerator. Now that we have an idea of the different stages, let's compare plastic bags to paper bags. The raw material for a plastic bag is crude oil, which is a finite resource and has to be separated using fractional distillation. On the other hand, paper bags are made of wood from trees so reduce the habitats available for animals and plants. For manufacturing plastic bags, the hydrocarbons from fractional distillation will need to be cracked to make alkenes, and then these can undergo polymerization to make plastics. Meanwhile, for paper bags, the timber has to be pulped, which means broken up into little pieces and then soaked, which can require loads of energy and produces lots of waste. When it comes to using either of these products, it's obviously going to depend on the particular bag. But in general, plastic bags can be reused multiple times, while paper bags are only single use. Finally, for disposal, plastic bags are really bad because they're not biodegradable, and so they take up space in landfill, or they might get into the wild and harm animals. On the other hand, paper bags are far better because they are biodegradable and they're also non-toxic. The last thing we need to look at are the limitations of life cycle assessments. For starters, most of the time making products involves loads of different steps, and it can be almost impossible to actually quantify all of them. Even if you do manage to get all of the data though, and you find exactly how much energy was used, how many pollutants were produced, and so on, it's still difficult to assess the harm of each step. For example, how do you compare the production of particulates that contribute to lung disease 
to the production of greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming. It's very hard to say which of these is worse. The second issue is that because the life cycle assessments are so complex, they can easily be manipulated to deliberately support a particular company, which may be done to give the company positive advertising. And unfortunately, this sort of thing is really hard to notice, again, because the calculations are so complex. Anyway, that's all for today. So if you enjoyed it, then please do let us know down in the comments. And we'll see you next time.